Sealed Republic. Um, as you can see, I got back here to Alderaan, the same place we were at before. We only picked up the Katamimu Flashpoint. So, we're going to do here, just read some mail. Oh, it's spam, so let's report it as spam. Alright, and I have decided that yes, I do want to keep this robe and I want to keep the other lightsaber. So, what I'll do is I'll do that. So now I have the robe. I want to upgrade and the lightsaber I want to upgrade. Alright, so here's how this works. You control right click open up the modification. You can right click on any of these to rip them out. You have to pay a small fee. Uh, the fee is less if you're a subscriber and the fee is more for higher level modifications. Alright, so we're going to rip all of these out too. And we will put them in my own gear. So we just control right click the lightsaber and we'll put in this as a 76 instead of 72. We got stat increases and stat increases switching to critical from power. I do happen to like power better but I've got a big fat power crystal there so I should be mostly unaffected. Alright, same for all these. There we go. Alright, now I can just toss these into my storage unit. I get the next chance. Yes, good. On we go. Yes, I'm quoting Willy Wonka. Thank you very much. Okay, so now we gotta head down to this hive mind mission. We'll see what's going on. First, let's discover the map here. Boom. Um, we got prehistoric. Always good. So how are we on synth weaving? Requires level 29 and I'm 31. Yeah, totally. Uh, dude, go make some more padded battle boots. Don't be that way soon. I will perform according to your exacting specifications, Master. Okay. And we'll come up here later. So right now we just want to head straight down to this hive mind mission. And we'll come in into House Ald later also. So right now it's just a good idea to head straight down and do this hive mind mission first. Okay. Yeah, so I talked with a friend at work today who's also a healer and she thinks that it's awesome what I did last time when soloed that boss. Um, yeah, if you missed it, go watch last episode. It was an amazing episode. for the last boss of the Katamimu Flashpoint. I actually, uh, uh... The three other people in my group uh, forgot to look at the engines or whatever that were going off. And so they got hit by the fire and they actually died. I did my best to keep up with the damage, but... Anybody who's run that flashpoint knows that that damage is pretty hard to keep up with, so the better strategy is just to stay out of it at all costs. Mm, yeah, keep going. So, uh, I did my best to keep up with it, they died, and so it was just me left, and I actually soloed the final boss. They got him down to about half life in about a minute, and I took the next six minutes and actually finished killing him myself. Wow, I'm quite
quite over leveled here, aren't I? Uh, nuts. And that bug about my static barrier, I'm pretty sure now that it just absorbs a certain amount of damage. And once that amount of damage has been sustained or absorbed, then the static barrier disappears. I think that's how they redesigned it. It sucks, makes you think a little bit more, but whatever. Where are you? Come out. I know you're there, you brain stealing vermin. Oh, oh, sorry. I didn't see you. Captain Assertia of House Thule. Can't speak now. Gotta keep an eye out. Killicks are everywhere. They'll turn us all into mindless drones to serve their hives. They must be stopped. That's not fear I smell, is it? There are bugs on this planet twice the size of men who can steal your mind. You don't find that unsettling? Chaskruni dopat kulira. Dokanki kung. Chunky faguta. Jiho poda ji oto vokise. Yes, but the same since the Imperial squad we were traveling with was attacked by the Killix. We were their field guides, helping to install long range sensor array, prototype technology, all the way from Dromenkos. The Killix overwhelmed us. The Imperials had the sensors on their backs. The Killix attached them to their hives. I hope you plan to elaborate. The men were cocooned, some kind of sticky woven material. Ever since I've been working on a way to get even, now I have it. These liquid grenades, special formula, dissolves the cocoons on contact. With these grenades, we could get those sensors, avenge those men, and win this war. But with the captain's illness, I can't leave him alone. Just show me where the fun is. The Kilkaevs are just over this ridge. The men in the sensors are... well, you won't miss them. If you get yourself and the sensors out, take them to Major Ferreth at RCO. Maybe the captain will approve when he hears what you're doing. Good luck out there. Alright, so there's a bunch of cocoon soldiers we gotta save. Let's do it after we, uh... Finish this hive mind mission. Yep, here's a phobium burial barrel, that's for scavenging. Um, fight our way into the caves. Okay. Thirty seconds, or X amount of damage. Okay. Yeah, even though they shortened it, it's still pretty abusive. All right, rescue the first inspection team right here. With a bonus of kill a bunch of stuff. Hooray. Yes, yeah, so I do have a separate playlist. I have the Let's Play playlist for this uh, Let's Play here. Then I also have one that's just for awesome things I do with my Inquisitor. My Inquisitor healer. So keep an eye out for that playlist. I did uh, just take the boss fight and uploaded that to the playlist. Because it was pretty awesome. So yeah, you can look there. I've got a few other things from my uh, other Inquisitor. From the, uh, from my uh, first server. The Harbinger. His name is Kazam. So you'll see some 
awesome stuff already in that playlist. I don't know if I actually recorded my voice during those or not, though. I forget. It's been a while. Alright, one more inspection team. are all melee, so if you want to position them all inside, you can, whenever you start attacking, they'll move to you. That was the strategy I used there. Just fine. Let's heal it before this battle, just in case. Inspection team. Have removed those who are not of the nest. Had they stayed, they would have learned the peace of the joining. We will not deny you your prize. But leave now. There has been a song of swarming. We have claimed these mines for the nest. I'm looking for Stanel Thule's daughter. Once we were called Daria Thul, now we are known as New Child of the Ukanuku Nest. We have tasted the gel and scented the egg chamber. We have joined. I don't care about some bug cult. I'm here for the reward. We are of the nest now. You cannot take it from us any more than your lungs could live outside your body. There is no war among the kind, no hate, no confusion. We are one, and we are at peace. We will never return. Am I supposed to care? Here we are safe. Here we are at peace. Here we will stay. Come with me, or die along with every killer here. That's your only option. No, we will never. We are hearing the voice of the nest. We have decided it is not worth many losses to save one. The nest has spoken. We will return. So I've been playing on another server on my uh, operative. I have an operative DPS, Lethality. And I've been noticing that it's really hard to stay at level. And I think that's mostly because of this uh, epic story experience thing. I think they redid the experience points in a horrible way. Where you actually get behind in levels unless you're a subscriber. I am about three levels under leveled for every uh, mission I'm running right now. That's pretty bad. Look, 
Okay, let's go get some of those cocoon soldiers out. There's none around here. Yeah, you gotta look up on these big old hive things for little oval shaped clickable things. Okay, but first we have to get out and up to that area. through this valley. Yeah, see there's one right there. But you gotta fight your way to get to it. You'll click on it from kind of close. You have to get pretty close to click on it. And he falls out, and you pick up your thing. Alright. Melee, melee ranged. Jump in right here. There we go. What do you mean, move closer? Okay. Whatever. Alright, let's find some more of those things. fight whatever things I have to fight on my way through. around this. Hey, look, there's a security chest. Oh, I want it. here if I want the bonus. So let's just start right here. Just killing everything to come across for a little while. There's another one. Here. Yeah. Okay, run in, run in, and kill these guys. There's four of them that are pretty easy to kill. Six more. That guy's all by himself. Oh, there are more up here. Alright, I only need three. 
three more kills. Hey look, it's another crystal formation. Alright. And now I just kill a few more bugs and I'm out of here. your uncle. We've got a bonus. There are a lot of insects around here. Uh, you're gonna see me. Yeah, you saw me. Just get me out of here. You're probably gonna see me too. No? Okay. I'll accept it. Alrighty. Here is slicing. Oh yeah, my slicing was 193 or so. It should have been 200 for that mission because there is a slicing thing that I could have done that I missed out on. I got what you wanted. I for the Academy. I hope those monsters burned alive. We'll remember this service when House Thull takes the throne. Nothing for uh, Andronicos. Oh, I'm getting to the end of Andronicos's uh, stuff anyway. I can switch back to Kim. Thank you. My medics are treating the inspection team for shock, but they seem otherwise unharmed. I wish I could say the same for my daughter. It is clear those monsters have drugged her, brainwashed her. I've heard of this something in the pheromones that joins their captives to their hive mind. Turn Thul's troops against the Kimix before they can destroy another mind. You're right. What good is the throne of Alderaan if our world is first overrun by these bugs? They must be driven out! We should slaughter them until nothing but their mounds remain! General Thul, excuse me. It is urgent I speak with my rescuer at once. I'm Agent Craig Graf, Imperial Intelligence. It was no accident those Kilix attacked when they did. The Ulgos pushed them toward that mine. How did you? We've been monitoring communications between the Ulgos strike teams in that region. This was definitely planned. The push was orchestrated by the Ulgos to distract us from something they're calling Operation Sunshower. You Alderanians are entirely too cheerful. I've heard that term. It's come up a few times in the chatter we're getting from our back door into the Organa networks. It's a beradium detonator, a massive explosive. They plan to strike at the heart of Full Lands. The detonator's being transported by Boris Orgo's elite soldiers, former Republic Special Forces, with the best weapons they could take and all the training the Republic gave them. No one in the Republic understands what the Dark Side is capable of. Just before the Killix arrived, we acquired a data file that I believe to be the launch codes for the detonator. If you really wish to strike fear into the heart of the Ulgos, get into the camp where they're holding it and set it off prematurely. It won't be the full force of the weapon, but let it be Ulgo that perishes, not Thul. Alright. Let's get some armor that's probably really good. Let's see. 76 armor. 72, 66, 66, 66, so any of those 66's will do. Alright, and reverse engineer these boots. Pistol. Don't have anybody like that. A lightsaber that's not useful to me. Okay. So we'll go sell some stuff and then we'll. The war against the Kilix will continue. No, where's the but cell bot? The there he is. Service. Do you require okay. medical attention? Be well. Uh, 
Alrighty then. So I just come down here and around up to the left to do this next set of missions here. Oh, this droid has another mission. Weapon status. Enrage. Systems destabilizing. Mission objective incomplete. All supporting units are offline. Failure is not within mission parameters. This unit requests assistance. What's happening here? Complying. This unit was one of several special forces assault droids. Mission parameters. Eliminate all ghost stronghold defenses. Current mission status. Impossible. Extensive damage to this unit requires core shutdown. All supporting units have been destroyed. Requesting assistance. There will be no survivors. Elimination of Ulgo defenses allows Stronghold to be secured by Imperial allies. Slaughter of Ulgo also avenges this unit and all offline units. Alrighty. So gotta do some more damage up in this area. So yeah, lots of questing to do up there. We just hang a left right here and up into the pass and then after that it's pretty it's a pretty linear path that we have to walk through. Alright, but I'm getting close on time. Not completely out of time yet, but I'm getting there, so I'll give you my ending spiel while I'm walking over there. Thanks for watching, uh, whether you're watching on Twitch or on YouTube. Um, thanks for watching either way, but there should be a link in the YouTube video to come back to my Twitch channel. And if there isn't one, I'll make sure that there is a link from my Twitch channel to go to my YouTube playlist that I'm making. Oh, we want to go up here. Uh, so yeah, go ahead and like, subscribe, follow, all that jazz. Every little bit helps. Thanks a lot for watching. You can also let me know in the comments some things you want me to do, show off. I would love to show them off for you in future episodes or live streams. Um, but otherwise, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.